Monday it is time to move on with this table project so you're gonna see me at the beginning here and then Vicki is taking it from there I'm gonna get my part of it done now so Vicki wants her initials uh, or our initials on this uh, this little slab and hopefully we'll get a lot done on this particular video so what Vicki did is she just made a little um, Put it down a little board. template a little layout template um, with our initials she kind of came up with a design so it's just cut out of birch and what I did was I uh, taped it all off I didn't want any black getting anywhere but right where I need to carve so I'm gonna carve that I've got the SC 50 bit in there I, I think I could have possibly done it with the profile bit but um, I know I can do the that uh, fine detail with the SC 50 so I think I'll just do it with the SC 50 and make sure I got plenty of room all right so that thing is about, uh, what did we say that was, about an inch and a half? About an inch and a half tall altogether with those two rollers. All right, get my cheaters on, get my part of it done, and I can get back behind the camera. <laughs> Make fun of Vicky. That's my favorite thing. All right, I don't know how deep I am here. Probably a little too deep to start out. We'll see what we got. Oops. Need a little bit more cord. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh oh, I got that turned the wrong way. Damn it! You are batting the, a thousand here today. It's been a while on. since you've been in front of the camera. It has, <laughs> and it feels like forever since I've been in front of the camera. <laughs> You're getting a lot more comments than I ever did. Anyway, all right, here we go. I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's kind of what I wanted. I'm going to turn it around. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up and uh, we're going to carve out that little area that Vicki wants uh, her little pool carved in. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of open this up a little bit. Vicki kind of wants this to be a little pool, but we don't want to take this knot out. She, she likes the way that's going to look with the, um, with the resin and stuff on it. So we don't want to take that out. So we're just going to open this up. This is where that bit slipped on us a little bit. But she does want it to kind of taper up to a kind of a, I don't know, a shallow beach, beach kind, kind of, of thing. thing yeah. If this was a, a pool from... Uh, looking from 15,000 feet or something, <laughs> I guess. So let me uh, see what I can do with that. I'm using my spiral upcut bit. I just picked it up automatically. So this is just my regular spiral upcut bit. It has a nice flat bottom on the, on the bottom and it works really good for this kind of thing. So let's see what we can do here. Before I forget, I've got it set at the depth of kind of down at where the bottom depth and then I'll just kind of graduate it out and kind of open that up a little bit. Sandpaper, if that looks too rough to yeah. you, you can take a 
little piece of sandpaper to it. Do you want now? Do you want me to to round that no. off and get rid of that, or you want to leave no, that little leave it. that little spot there? I want as much natural as possible. Natural, like a router bit slipping kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna, huh? Okay, I'm gonna come back and uh, sand this off real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna get out in front of. I'm gonna get behind the camera and let Vicky do her right thing. There. Just go for it. Oh, has this got a good uh, sander on it? Oh, yeah, looks like it. Let's check it out. work is done um, this thing's about ready to be poured so what I'm going to show you is how we have to tape it because all these holes go straight through if we just start pouring this stuff's going to go all over the back of the um, the board and it's going to go here if I start pouring here it's going to come out these holes right here so I'm going to show you what we got to do um, just to get it prepped and ready to go and oh let's see i'll start uh, should i come over there well i'll just do it this whatever way. you want I'll I'm, gonna, just I'm gonna reach reach over so what kind of tape is this oh my gosh uh red. I forgot. it's red it's red tape it's red tape <laughs> we're a government agency a, now <laughs> it's red tape and you don't want to tape it to oh one thing too you want to make sure you cover your table plastic on the table because if stuff gets on your table you're really SOL. So we're going to leave a little bit of ridge so that it doesn't go over and so well it helps to hold on to the tape. Can't it's actually it. much easier to do not filming isn't it? Yeah it is. <laughs> so we just got to make sure it's really on there. That's really sticky tape too. Works really good. And then down around the bottom. But you don't want it to fold over. That's that's no bueno. That's not good, especially if you're trying to cover up those holes. Okay, so that's really the only end I need to cover because there's no, there's nowhere it's going to come out on this side from this angle. So now, this is the bottom of the table. We have to cover all of these holes because these will seep right through doo -doo -doo, into the hole, into the, onto the end of the table. So I'm just going to cover these up real quick. really want to make sure that's down there good it comes up real well it doesn't have a problem it peels right off the but it needs to be stuck yeah, real it needs good. to be stuck because that stuff will seep in areas that you don't even you don't think even it realize will. it will because yeah. of the so I'll a few more <coughs> Here, I want to make sure this is covered up. Really put down on there. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's taped up, and we'll come back and get to the real fun part, and that's pouring the the resin. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got everything taped up the way we want it. I wanted to show you the product that I use. It's an art resin. I bought it online. They do have it on Amazon, but um, it's cheaper actually if you buy it directly from the Art Resin website. Um, so, what I wanted to show you too, this tape that I used to tape this up, it's called Red Sheathing Tape. It is, we'll have it uh, in our uh, Amazon store. And then also these Painter's Pyramids, which we have, if you want to zoom over here, we have oh, the yeah, sign standing on. 
Yeah. That way, it's not going to get stuck to the table if for any reason. It's those things be. are cool. I These are really using cool. Those all yeah. Along. So I'm going to use two ounces of each. The resin. This is the resin. This is the hardener, and I'm going to mix it up. And then we'll put some color in it, and then we'll do that. Do so you've got little cups that have marks on yeah, them, right? Yeah, let me set that over here. We bought these on Amazon also. They should, they'll should they be in our store also. And they have, you know, the ounces, the milliliters, whatever, however you want to measure your resin. But gotcha. we, we do, I do the ounces because that's all I know. Okay. I don't know anything else. Hmm. All right, and then, of course, we have our little sticks here. So here we go, resin. Make sure you get it all out of there too. And when you're mixing this, you gotta mix it really good. You've got about three minutes that you have to stir this stuff. You wanna make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom and get all the resin that you possibly can. And try not to spill it because it's like really yucky. And you wanna wear gloves. You wanna put protection stuff down like Don't your boxes in your- Don't leave without your uh, And your uh, plastic. Our daughter's over here laughing at me. Oh, by the way, we also uh, made sure that the board was uh, pretty much level. It's not as important on this pour uh, because we're just filling holes right now. We, not me. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the, if you have a little torpedo level, it makes it nice to be able to um, see whether you're, you're All level. Right. So the, level, All right. the board so is level. We're going to mix. Don't want to mix it too fast. You create a lot of bubbles. Bubbles will actually start floating. So you just want to mix it, keep it going for three minutes. And Eric's going to time me. So we'll be back in... We'll be back in three. Okay. Okay, so what I did is I've got it all mixed up, and this is just clear. There's some spots in here that I really don't want color in, but if I wait till the final finish, it's just going to bubble and keep... It takes longer. So I'm just going to fill it a little bit with some of this clear and see if I can avoid some of that hassle that comes with it. Because these, this stuff goes right down in those cracks. Soaks in. So we're just going to put that on there. Fill in these cracks a little bit. This is the fun part, actually. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All right, let me spill that up a little bit. So you got four ounces. I've got four ounces. I've got two ounces of hardener and two ounces of resin. This stuff stands up so nice too. So see, it's going. I don't know if you can see in there. I'll try and it's zoom filling in up as a little. I can. I'm glad we got the automatic focus uh, all figured out, so it's not blurry. All right. So that's all I'm going to basically do there. Maybe a little. Couple of little, just plain old little holes here. Whoops, there it is. Fill those in. Now I'm going to put the color in it. So the color that I use, it's Black Diamond. Um, it's a Black Diamond powder product. I really like it. So this is it. It's a pig, pigment, Black Diamond pigment powder. Okay. And this hold, is. Hold on, so I can zoom on in on there. This is the Caribbean blue, which I really like. It's almost got like a pearl. That's what you used on the That's other table. That's what I used on the other table, yeah. Okay. And you just take a little, get a little bit There's of it. Anything we should know about uh, how much to put in? You just kind of got to put it in and see what it looks like. But it don't take much, evidently. It does not take much at all. Let's see. No, nope, we need more than that. You want to start with just a little bit and then work until you get the color that you want. I don't know, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can... Nah, we need a little bit more. A little bit darker. But not much more. That's way too much. Like literally, just a little bit more. And mix it up. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> now I'm going to do this in several pours. So if I look at this and I decide I want it a little darker on my next pour, I just make it a little bit, add a little bit more. 
So you're assuming then it's going to take more than one pour it will, to fill yeah. all your gaps. Yes, it will because these are really deep. They're really, again, all the way through the board. So So how did you come up with four ounces then? When you, uh, well, they have a calculator that you can go on to their website and they calculate it. holes like that though? I, w I don't know. Well, there's a whole process. You can, you know, measure it and do all that. I, I'm not a mathematician. I'm not even. So close. basically, you're saying you guessed. I guessed. All right. Well, that's that's. A, it's a guess. That's the answer I was looking for. <laughs> you just took the long way to get there. <laughs> so I wanted to sound somewhat intelligent. Thank you for crushing that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, if you're young and haven't had children, don't. <laughs> Can you might want to come over and look kind of at this a little bit. Get uh, closer with the camera. And yeah. Get over on top. We're going to roll here a little bit. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, those are pretty deep, and they're just going to kind of go throughout the board wherever their little... Trails are, yeah. Trails I think leaving. those are wormholes, those ones down there closer to you. I think These those are, are actually wormholes, yeah. See here, if you look here now, you can see how that's gone down into the crack. I don't know that they're wormholes, but they look like it to me. Now, where I filled this up, open up here, this is looks like a little tiny hole, but it's going to fill up a bunch of those. It's like one of those, uh, what do they call those molten uh, silver things that they pour into the ant hills? Pretty cool. I think it's cool. I don't want that laying down. Oh wait, this is the other side. No, it's not. This is the top. we got to pull this up. Now I've got tape on my hand. Can you pull that up? I can try. <sighs> I didn't oh realize my I gosh. was going to be working here. I thought I was just the camera guy, but... Every time I think I'm out, they pull me back oh, in. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> wow, that blue is pretty. I like it. The tape is pretty sticky. All right, is that what you want? Yeah, thank you. Oh, cool. Oh, but I didn't move the camera. <laughs> See? Man, you need camera lessons. <laughs> Aren't you guys cute? We are cute. I don't think that's quite as blue as your other one. I don't think so either, but I think it's But burning. once the clear is on top, it might darken that up. Though. So that's just going to kind of keep soaking through until it fills up all those little crevices throughout the board. Is that the plural of crevices? Or crev crevice is crevices? crevices. Is, or is it crev crevi? crevi? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You knew where I was going even before, I, I mean, even before I got there. You knew where I was going with that. <laughs> this is why it's fun to work here. <laughs> All right, so. It's hot. It's warm. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Rach. Bye, Rach. Kind of, kind of pretty, okay, here we go. We're going to do well. I don't know if this will kind of fill up. I want to do my little pond thing here. Hmm. That's your little pool thing. My little pool. Yeah, see, it's going down in there. Yes, it is.
So what do they say the work time is with this? Yeah, 45 minutes work time, like 45 minutes. Um, which and, is... and this stuff, oh, oh yeah, one thing we didn't say. This stuff was the low VOC, so it, it doesn't have hardly any fumes, no fume. right? Yeah, really, literally, like none. That's one of the things that you liked about the Yeah, well, the I, what, working with you on that, some of that other stuff, it's so strong. It's, ooh. wow. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a few minutes, and then I'm going to get the uh, heat gun. And uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's bubbles. We're going to work on getting some of these bubbles out of here. So let me okay. finish this. Oh, that kind of didn't, that filled up more than I thought, but, you know, yeah, as I it dry. it's it, got more soaking in to do. Oh, yeah. It's got a lot more to do, but it's all right. Pretty good for an initial pour, though. <laughs> I'm going to get as much of that out of there as I can. All right. Okay, so we're going to let it sit. We're like going to give it like, long? I don't know, five minutes or so. And then I'm going to uh, come back and I'm going to use the heat gun. So, it look big bubble. So we will be right back. Okay, so you can see here how the bubbles have come up. The air bubbles, I, I'm assuming that's from the wood. I, I'm not, I'm not a chemical person but and you can see here how this has gone down this is no longer full and these are starting to go down so they're filling up all of those worm holes and these have pretty much gone in all they're going to so we're just going to use this little drill master heat gun and get rid of those bubbles you don't want to set it on that for too long I don't know, where you at? Huh? I'm trying to find you there You're moving too fast. Sorry. So you just have to do this once then? No. No. Um, I'll come out about every 15 minutes and um, go over this again. we got to cover it because we don't want any sawdust or anything laying on it. So we'll cover it with the cardboard and then another piece of the plastic to protect it and then about every 15 minutes I'll come back out and do the same thing because bubbles will continue to keep coming up and rising so that's about it um so we're gonna let this go the tape fall over again yeah until uh we're done and then we did this last time remember we put a piece of tape there yeah can you have me a piece of tape and kind of keep it off there so what we'll do is we're just going to keep doing this i'll keep getting the bubbles out of here and then um, i'll do the few more fill the few more pours you'll kind of see that you won't hear me yakking but you'll see that and then we'll come back and we'll sand it off and uh get this baby done so we will see you all so what are you doing there? Explain to me. I'm just taping this stick here. This is actually one thing Eric came up with. It kind of pushes that tape so that it doesn't flap back down. So that doesn't matter because yeah, none of that's filled. Yeah. But here where this crack or this wormhole is, and it's open down here, so it's filling all that up. I don't want that tape. It happened to me on the other table. Yeah. The tape laid down and then went into the stuff. The, resin and it was a mess i had to kind of clean that up so we're just taping this open kind of set it and up there's there. no resin on that stick there's no resin there. on the stick yeah. no so it'll be all right yeah okay so that's about it we will be back when it's time to do some sanding see you guys later okay so real quick i want to show you how we're going to cover it we went to the dollar store and bought a bunch of these little party hats that sit just above this board it's going to kind of hold up our and it's going to hold up our cardboard. So we put the cardboard over the top over here on the party hats. And then to keep any of the uh, resin from floating down, coming in from the side. You want to help me? Oh. Yeah. I just took a big 33 gallon garbage bag and cut that one part down at the bottom where it kind of is supposed to stick together. So that just keeps Which the dust from keeps going the dust from the going. Side. Yep. 
So yeah. that's it. So we'll be back and hopefully be ready to sand it off here shortly. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting these little things. So once all of this is this pour, once all the bubbles and everything are out of it, it has to set for 24 hours before I can pour it again. Um, I could probably pour it before. I don't think so. It has to set 24 hours. And then we'll do the second pour. See how that is. And it's 24 hours between each pour. And then I think it's actually 48 hours to actually set solid. I don't know. Cure. Cure. That's the word I'm looking Completely for. So cure. anyway, that's it. And uh, unless I forget and remember um, something else. Yeah, I think I think you we got, got it. it all this time. So you're going to do one more pour for hopefully that will fill everything up to the surface and then you'll do your final pour with right. the clear. Yeah, well, well, when we after the all the blue is done and it's yeah. set and cured, I have to sand it. Yeah. And then we'll come back and we'll do the final pour. Okay. All right. That's it. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi, everybody. So we're getting ready to do our second pour on the fills of the little wormholes, what Eric calls the wormholes. So you can see here, these are all dry um, and they've soaked down in and gone throughout the wormholes in the board. So it's uh, the next morning then. Yeah, next that. morning. We waited 24 hours, so we're back. So I mixed up my, my resin, uh, equal parts, uh, the resin and then the hardener and when, when it was still clear before I colored it I went back because these uh, knot cracks here had just really soaked in and then I also went ahead and filled uh, our initial signature there and then I colored the uh, resin with the blue it's a pretty blue and this is the uh, Caribbean blue so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second pour and see what happens here we go Let's so we got pre it, it pretty much filled up a lot of it those. It did. It filled up more than I actually thought it would. I thought it would soak in a little bit more. So I want this to kind of go up as much as it can. Fill all that in. Just a little tiny. Um, so you mixed. Uh, you said you mixed an ounce and a half of of uh, each. It's equal parts. Each, each uh, ounce and a half of the resin and an ounce and a half of the hardener. Right. Let's see. Whoops. That was more than I really wanted to put on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We just move it around. And then <clears throat> yesterday, after I did the first pour, <clears throat> excuse me for like. The first hour afterwards, I came out about every 15 minutes and used the, the hot gun on it to make sure all the bubbles would pop because the bubbles kind of kept coming up and I didn't want any bubbles in there. Gosh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that blue. It's a beautiful color. See? Boy, these really, right here in this one particular spot, really went down and filled up those holes right in through here. But that goes over to, through it to the edge, right? Yeah. So that's really deep. And actually, Eric showed me where I was worried. I said I didn't have to tape it off on the back. I won't show you because I didn't think it would go all, this would go all the way through. And it did, and it kind of leaked out a little bit there. But it's, It was only one little drop. Oh, one though. little drop. But still, I kinda, I, it's funny. I didn't think it would go all the way through. Oh, here, this really soaked in here. Ooh, awkward silence. Yeah, I'm trying to keep, I'm zoomed in pretty good. Trying to keep focus. Yeah, but it's tough because I'm watching you outside of I, the See, that's what I do. I, I watch you and then I forget about the camera. <laughs> Sorry, folks. It's all right for it to run over because it's all going to get sanded down. Can you see where I missed anything or my light on anything? It doesn't look like it. I don't think so. Not right at this you moment. You really see the bubbles coming up from there. I'm going to put these two little, two little pin dots right there. Right there, one right there. 
So but you got more bubbles coming out of the. Uh, oh yeah, you can see where the bubbles there. are really coming up there. Right there. Oh, I didn't work too well. See, that's, it's still going down through there. That's going over to the edge, yeah. I think there's catacombs down inside yeah. that board. It's like a bumblebee hive. Well, I've got a bunch left. You want anything you want to put some resin in? <laughs> oh, I don't know. But I think we're going long on this video. We yeah, wrap so this we're going to wrap it up. Um, again, I'm just going to go over it with the hot gun, get the bubbles out, uh, keep going over it, and then uh, when we come back on the next video, we will, um, I think, what would we say to do? Oh, we're going to show you how we're going to take care of the ends on the sink things here, because the ends tend to soak the resin up really good. So we've come up with a solution for that. So, we will see you on the next well, video. Well, we hope it's a solution. It's we a hope it's, it's, it's a theory. theory right it's a now. theory right we're now. So. One way or the other. <laughs> okay, you guys, uh, we'll see you next video. Bye-bye.